Hey there, I'm Joshua Bardwell, and I just want to take 30 seconds of your time before we get into the video in case someone has stumbled across this video randomly and doesn't realize what the context is. This is a playlist of videos teaching you how to build a FPV, first person view freestyle or racing drone from start to finish. If you've stumbled in in the middle, Go down to the video description, there's a playlist link, start at the beginning of the playlist and work your way through. If you are working your way through this video, I want to remind you that there is a Discord server, a Discord chat server uh, for Quad Camp Online. There's a channel over there where we provide support uh, for the people who are working through this project. If you have any questions, you can ask them down in the YouTube comments, absolutely, but if you need a little bit more real-time help, you maybe will get better luck over in the Discord server. Link in the video description. I also want to remind you, thanks to Rotor Riot for helping make this project a reality. And if you are thinking of working your way through this project, you can get all of the equipment for, to build the quadcopter in just one credit card swipe from the Rotor Riot store. Yeah, you can buy the stuff elsewhere as well. One piece here, one piece there. Pay too much for shipping. Accidentally buy the wrong thing. You get it all. And there's a link to that down in the video description. On with the video. Now that the ESC and the motors, blah, blah, blah. now that the ESC and the motors are installed, the next step is gonna to be to install the flight controller. That's this little guy here, and it was originally attached to the video transmitter, but you guys removed these little standoffs here and that disconnected them. That's okay. When you're working with the flight controller, there's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. Uh, the gyro is mounted on the flight controller with some foam tape and you're just going to want to be careful not to, it will tear off if you tear it off, so don't do that. The other thing is that when you're working with your soldering iron, try to be careful not to touch this ribbon cable. This ribbon cable is not fragile, but if you do manage to damage it, it's going to be really hard to fix or replace, so try not to damage it. Connecting the flight controller to the ESC is really simple. You're going to use this cable, which came in the ESC box, and it's going to plug into the side on the ESC. It is keyed, so it will only go in one way. So if you're having trouble getting it to go in, flip it over and do it the other way. I always have to try several times. And it looks like the way it's done is with these little retaining tabs up like this, not with the flat side up. So we'll go ahead and install that. And that just presses in. And then we will do the same thing for the flight controller. And that's gonna go in, it looks like, with the flat side up. Now the flight controller has to be installed in the correct orientation. So pay close attention here. Here is the front of the quadcopter with the flat edge and the four holes in a, in a rectangle. Here's the rear of the quadcopter with a, a curved edge and four holes in a line. And we're gonna want this facing front. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find this arrow here, which is the front facing arrow right there and it needs to face the front of the quadcopter. And I can just set that down on top of those four standoffs, like so. Now, this actually is a bad way to do it. Look at this, flopping around, that's a mess. We don't wanna do that. So, hey guys, I was just cleaning up my workbench and I found this, which is a nice short wire that you can use to connect the ESC and the flight controller together. And it had just fallen on the floor and I lost it. So. That is what you should do. Not this twisty, twisty nonsense that I showed you. What you can do is, and I'm still gonna twist it, but yeah, so I've, I've still twisted it, but there's a lot less of it to get in the way. It's a lot nicer this way. Now at this point, you might think, well, I'll go ahead and install these standoffs on top of here to hold the flight controller on. But I'm not actually gonna do that. It should stay on there pretty well just from friction. And as you're working with your soldering iron, you might be a little bit prone to melt one of these. And so we won't do that just yet. In the box with the flight controller, you should have received this little bag of accessories. And in that bag of accessories, there is, this is the plug 
that you're going to use to connect the video transmitter to the flight controller. So let's do that now. And I think the easiest way to wire this is going to be to actually have the antenna on the right side because these wires are going to go to right here and that way the wires don't have to cross underneath the board it keeps the wires relatively short and neat since the wires are not direct soldered if we ever need to take the VTX off for maintenance we can always just pop this out and remove the VTX pretty easily So let's take this VTX wire and we'll leave ourselves a little bit of slack because it's always a good idea but we don't need the whole thing so I'm going to cut off about oh two or three inches of it and then the next thing I need to do is strip these wires and since this is silicon wire insulation it's really easy to just use my fingernails to strip off a short length of it. I'm going to then twist the wire to bundle it up. Pinch and twist. And I'm going to solder it. I've got my soldering iron at 700 Fahrenheit, which I think is about 400 Celsius, if my memory is correct. I'm going to tin each of the wires. Now I'm not going to start soldering yet because there's another thing I need to do, which is to get the camera out. The camera and the video transmitter are actually going to need to plug into the same place to get power. So we need to take care of that now. And we're going to get out this bag of accessories that comes with the camera. We're going to pull out this wire. Let me just untwist that. And this wire has two ends. One of the ends has this little plug on it. Okay. And the other end does not. You're going to want to use the end that has the little plug on it. And in case you're not sure, take the end of the wire and plug it into the camera one end will plug into the camera that's the end you want the other end will not plug into the camera that's the end you're not going to use what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera end and I'm going to just pull back these wires and give myself a nice healthy length of them maybe five inches or so and I'm going to strip and tin these as well and actually, I don't need this wire, this um, light purple wire, which is the rightmost wire coming out of the plug header. It's labeled VSEN. And this is where my memory card filled up and my camera stopped recording, but that's okay. I was almost done for today. Anyway, what I was going to say is you can go ahead and snip off that VSEN wire, that pinkish purplish wire from the camera. You don't need that. Just take your diagonal cutter, cut it, and uh, we will continue in the next video.